BB wants to know, did you have any baseball heroes and did you collect baseball cards of them? Um, I collected baseball cards, but I didn't have really no baseball heroes growing up. Uh, you know, I was very big into every sport, I think. Uh, you know, I, I never really focused on baseball, but I watched it uh, definitely as a kid. But, you know, I never really was like, kid. baseball is going to be my passion. I, you know, growing up as a kid, and, uh, you know, of course now it is my passion, it's my job, it's my career. And, uh, yeah, I never, I never really had any baseball heroes. Hema Jang wants to know if you have any thoughts about life after baseball. Life after baseball. Right now, you know what? I'm trying to line myself up with some things. Um, you know, just, 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 you know, things that you brainstorm. Um, you know, hopefully I'll have a long enough career, and hopefully I'll, have, you know, uh, you know, save enough money that I make during my career, and and, and uh, you know, hopefully get to retire and sit back on the beach. But no, I definitely <laughs> want to. Uh, you know, anytime in this in, in, in this in this business, I think uh, you meet so many people. You you know, you just uh, you try to keep getting better, and you try to keep learning, and uh, you know, you always listen to what people's advice and try to you know get the best advice you can. Matt wants to know what what's it like when you when you run into Hawaii boys in the league. What was it like? I mean, it's just like you know, it's one of those things where it happens everywhere. I mean, you know, Hawaii is uh, you know we're very family oriented. You know, we always stick together and. Uh, you know, like last night, for instance, you know, going over to Sport BJ, um, you know, going around the league and facing guys like Tyler Yates and Brandon League and, you know, playing against Kurt Suzuki. Uh, you know, you feel good because you see a fellow Hawaiian, a guy that, you know, hey, you know, there's not many of us out there that get the opportunity to do what we're doing. And, uh, you know, it feel good for the guys that they get an opportunity to go out there and do that. Kuya D wants to know, do your teammates ask you to bring anything back from Hawaii for them? Um, you know, a lot of them always curse about the pineapples. Um, you know, Hawaii's got great pineapples. Um, you know, we've got a lot of guys that really love pineapples. But, uh, you know, I brought, you know, President Obama gave them macadamia nuts and chocolates during the, you know, uh, All-Star game. So, you know, stuff like that. Little things like that that you bring from home from Hawaii. Uh, Nita Hobby wants to know, did you know Kurt Suzuki growing up? And you still keep in contact with Yeah, no, yeah. We, in fact, we spoke last night during the fights. Um, you know, he text messaged me over, uh, you know, over the phone. And, uh, you know, we definitely, uh, I did play against him growing up. Um, you know, he was a couple years behind me. I think he was a sophomore when I was a senior. But, no, I definitely played against Kurt. And, uh, you know, it's definitely exciting to see another guy, another uh, fellow Molly boy, in fact, uh, do well. And, uh, you know, we, we guys like Tyler, with Brandon, you know, just seeing the state of Hawaii do well in baseball. Uh, Ray Boy Jr. wants to know, do you have any current major league players you're a fan of and you get autographs from them? Yeah, no, I get autographs as many guys as I can. Um, you know, never know how long I'm going to be, you know, be playing in this game. I think, uh, you know, when you go out there every day, uh, you know, playing with guys like Albert, you know, the, you know, playing against with guys like Jimmy and Chase and being friends with like guys like Howard, uh, you know, being friends with the guys on my team, especially, you know, we got so many guys that are good on our team. So, um, you know, I'm definitely a guy that, uh, you know, likes to, likes to talk to people and say yeah. hi and, and get to know people, so. ZZZ wants to know if you got anybody hooked on Spam Musubi and if Peter's still giving you a hard time. Peter's, no, Peter's <laughs> giving me a hard time yet uh, this year, but uh, you know, Scott here, one of our relievers, he's big into Spam. So, nice. uh, you know, we, he bought me some Spam last week and we actually fried oh. it up and ate it. Yeah, so, uh, cool. you know, yeah, we do, we have some fun around here. Sky Castles wants to know boxers or briefs. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> no answer on that one. No answer. <laughs> no answer to that one. Okay. Uh, as it's a, a little kid. too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a girl. <laughs> um, let's see, Dave Oi wants to know, what do you miss most about Maui in particular? What do I miss most about Maui? I think uh, the beautiful weather, uh, the beautiful beaches. Uh, you know, it's just, just paradise. I mean, I, I definitely miss that. You know, uh, the Jersey Shore is about an hour from here. And, uh, you know, it's definitely not, not, not walking out to the white sandy beaches of Hawaii. And, uh, you know, it's definitely different, uh, you know, living uh, uh, on the East Coast. Uh, yeah. but, you know, I, I, like I always said, I mean, if, if everybody's healthy, my family's doing well, home will always be home. Um, you know, but when I retire, that's where I plan to be. I plan to be back home in Hawaii. You know, I make my house right now what we consider the ninth island. That's in yeah. Las Vegas in the off season. Oh, right. So, uh, you know, we definitely, uh, uh, when all said and done with, I definitely want to move home to Hawaii again. Sweet. Uh, Snow wants to know, does he feel that coming out of the state of Hawaii, you have a disadvantage trying to break into major leagues, or might that somehow have worked in your favor? Um, I say yes and no. Um, it might have worked in my favor, but yet it might not have. Um, you know, I think once you get to where I'm at, uh, when you get drafted, I think that everybody's on a. You know, there's guys that are you know different level, first rounder, second rounder, but you know what? To me, when you get drafted, everybody has a shot. Um, if you work hard, you play the game the right way, you try to go out there the right approach. You know, I've seen a lot of guys that got drafted after me, a lot of guys got drafted before me that didn't get to the big league. So, you know, I think it depends on the individual, um, the character uh, of the individual. So, 
you know, everybody has a chance. Um, you know, it might have helped me in a way being from Hawaii, but I think, uh, you know, everybody gets a fair shot. YN wants to know, what's the weirdest request you ever gotten from a female fan? <laughs> weirdest request, boy. You get some weird ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> some I can't talk about on camera, but, uh, you know, some of the things that, uh, you know, you get asked to do, you know, especially by female fans, it's like, I, you know, I, I can't do it. <laughs> and, you know, it's just not, not realistic, but, you know, being around, uh, uh, having a passion for the game and fans loving you, I think is such a nice thing. And, uh, you know, the most I do is sign balls, you know, do little things like that. Lastly, Uncle Jimmy wants to know, your arrival and rise to a starting spot pretty much coincided with the reemergence of the Philly franchise. Right. Ask him if Philly people consider you to be a good luck charm. Um, so, <laughs> I guess, yes and no. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, this team's a, a, a good team, but I think we all work together, we work hard. And, uh, you know, it might have been just a coincidence, but you know what, I appreciate, uh, you know, the opportunity that I get to play here in this lovely city. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where you never take it for granted. Right on. Yep. Thanks a lot, man. No problem. Yeah.